What is up now YouTube? My name is Slytoz and today we have another Let's Build a Nation. If you're new to this series, I pick a nation that isn't too commonly come across. So obviously in this episode we actually have Romania and I've never ever came across a Romanian team. And this is because it isn't that great and centre mids are extremely hard to find in a 4-4-2 meaning we don't have any in this team. So we do have a right mid and a centre defensive mid in this team and they are fairly low on chem so that might be why they're playing bad but even on full chem I doubt they'll be much better. But anyway on to the team just a little announcements first these names are ridiculously hard to say so if I do have a mistake on any it isn't my fault. So in goal we have Lobont he is a keeper that plays for Roma in the Italian first division, obviously Syria. He has 73 diving, 77 reflexes, 75 positioning. He was a pretty solid keeper for me. Definitely a one to consider if you can't afford Neto in a Syria team. In left back we have Radu. He also plays in the Syria for Lazio, I believe that is. He has 76 pace, 79 defending, 76 heading. He's definitely a good buy if you are in a Syria non-shiny goal team, obviously, but there is Nagamoto as well, so he won't be first choice. Maybe a good sub. Centre-back, we have Shivu. He has fairly poor stats, to be fair. His pace is fairly shocking, and it really does seem like that in the game. And his 78 defending and 76 heading is fairly average, as you get that on most decent silver centre-backs, let alone gold ones. The next centre back we have is Tamas. He's extremely slow in game as well. Definitely not the fastest of defences. And obviously, this is why there's not too many Romanian teams you come across. Obviously, he does have 76 and 78 heading. Although it does seem a little better as his height is fairly bigger than Shivu's, I believe. Right back we have Sampa Sapnuaru. I know I actually butchered that name, but. If anyone was put down below how you think you pronounce it, that would be great. Obviously, he does have 71 pace, which is shocking for a right back. If he was a centre back, that would be good pace, but he's a right back, so no. He has 80 defending, and his standing tackles are extremely good, but his 74 heading does let him down quite a bit. Obviously, in left mid, we have Varga. He has 69 pace. Or what can I say? He's a left mid, 69 pace. He's not going to outpace anyone, so this puts him so he can't put any balls in at all. But he does have 72 passing and 72 dribbling. So he is a fairly decent passer of the ball. But don't expect miracles of him. He is shocking. So obviously we do have a centre defensive mid playing at centre mid. He plays for in the Serie A as well. And he his stats all around poor. Nothing over 70. He is a 69 rated card, but I expect a few standout stats on a card, and he definitely don't deliver them. So, we also have a right mid playing in centre mid. We have Torje, I believe it is. He has 83 pace, 70 shooting, 75 passing, 77 dribbling. He is definitely the standout player of the team, if there is one. But, if you put him into another team, he'll be most probably be fairly poor due to his stats. And, he's most probably a standout player due to everyone being so bad on a team. And the other right mid we have is Corsis. He has 72 pace, 70 passing. And that's about it. He is fairly shocking as well. Obviously up, for, up front we have a absolute deadly strike force. Sarcasm there. And um, this consists of Ayanu. He has 78 pace. And that's about it. <laughs> Although he does seem fairly slow in game also. Next we have Jula. He has 71 pace. And that's about it. And obviously, this team is four and a half star rated with a bench, and the bench is all bronze. So you are going to be coming across. Uh, it's three and a half star, sorry. So you are going to be coming across good silver teams, good silver and gold mixed teams, and this don't stand a chance against any of them. So unless you are Romanian and you want a Romanian team, I wouldn't even consider building this. This is fairly shocking. And I doubt I'll make any money back on them. So it's most likely discarding them all after this. But anyway, this has been Slight Oz. If you did enjoy this, check me out in the next one. And also, there's a link for High Horse FIFA. I will be uploading it every Thursday. So do not forget to check that out. But this has been Slight Oz here. Thanks for checking me out. Goodbye.